try our best and hopefully win the game. I'm, I'm dawning an assault rifle with this one and a rocket. As, as you can see there, I can do quite a good bit of damage to my enemies. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a massive fan of mech warfare. I grew up with the Gundam series, which is an anime that I really love watching. I grew up on that. I also I also play the Gundam games, I have the Dynasty Warriors Gundam games. I play I um play games such as Steel Battalion and Armored Core that really got me into mechs and mech building. And this game basically encompasses everything I've ever wanted in a mech game. Something where you can just go in as a mech, blow stuff up I love every second of it. I love it a bit. Oh man. I am a little bit out of my own comfort zone. Uh, can I get out? Can I get out? Can I get out? Ooh, only just on 9 HP. Okay. And what you can do on the fly... Ah! Uh, you see what I was doing there was, on the fly, you can repair yourself. And when you can repair yourself, all you need to do is just simply hold down the C button, you repair yourself, and then you can get back into the fight. As long as you're in a safe location, at least. Now, let's see. Should I launch in my beloved x plow again? Screw it, why not? Do it! See how well I can do in this match. Obviously, I've only just, I've only just been back in the zone in Hawken. Since getting a new PC, I haven't had the chance to install it until very recently. And so I was really happy to get back into the game and try it out once again. Because obviously I love games like this. Haha, <laughs> yes! And that's one thing you also get. You also get achievements. And you gotta love achievements in video games. Who doesn't, eh? Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna... Oh, they're behind us now. A good trick I've learned while in Team Deathmatch is... In, it is very good to stay together in team death matches because you don't want to be swarmed by an enemy mech. And one one thing I do love about this game, you can really outposition your opponent. And that's what I think it's all about. It's all about speed, precision and outmaneuverability. If you can outmaneuver your opponent, you basically won. And it's all about being able to get behind your opponent, get into that better position, being able to hit them for more damage than they're dealing, or maybe just run circles around them. I've had a couple of cases where I've been stuck in a corner against this other guy. We were dashing around a corner a lot, and I ended up killing him with really low health just because I outpositioned him, and he just couldn't hit me. Oh man. Well, oh, I'm in a really bad spot. I'm in a really bad spot. Oh. I'm in a really bad spot. Oh, he's coming for me, but he failed. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, well, there's a guy behind me. Oh, is there? Some of the achievement names as well are really comedic. There's even an achievement you can get which is simply known as Kill Steal, where you literally, if you, act, if you kill someone that is on like 10% health that someone else has taken down and you haven't hit them yet and then you hit them to kill them you get the kill steal achievement and I loved getting that achievement I found that hilarious I was not expecting that at all now that guy is very squishy I'm gonna see if I can't finish him off I'm gonna put myself out of position oh 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 ah oh, I got stuck there on one of my teammates you see this is where interactability with your teammates is very recommended because in that situation I got stuck because I was right next to one of my teammates but if he wasn't there I would have been able to maneuver myself out of that sticky situation so I guess the next thing to bring up is is there any problems or anything I don't like about Hawken I guess the only thing that I don't really like about Hawken is that it seems as if the faster mechs are generally the better mechs. Because you can outmaneuver your opponents better, outmaneuverability is rewarded more than just straight up damage dealing. Oh man, I've been caught out of position here. Oh, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna 1v1 this guy as best I can. Ah! No! Oh, it's... No, oh, now he's put down the turret. That's bad. Ah! Oh. That's why many people go for machine gun turrets. Suppression damage for keep damaging you. And really annoy me, apparently. But yeah, the only thing I might find as a complaint is the fact that the heavier mechs just seem to be the worst off mechs. Like, I bought the Grenadier because, heck, I'm the expert, or I love blowing stuff up, and I think the Grenadier was a perfect personification of that. And although how much I love the Grenadier for objective-based gameplay, for simple death matches, it just doesn't seem to hold up. And I think that's the problem. Every mech should be good in every game mode. In a certain in a certain way. Like you shouldn't limit like what mechs are good in certain game modes. Like of course this could just be my opinion. And you guys might think differently. And it'd be really good to hear what you guys actually think about Hawken and what you think about balancing wise, whether you like it or not, where it needs for improvements. Obviously it is in open beta right now, so don't expect this to be the finished product. It is still up for change. But nothing says the, the uh, finishing touch can't be as badass as this, eh? I'm wondering where this guy's going. Just gonna tease it a bit. Where's my teammates? Oh, there they are. Oh no, I'm in a bad spot again. Oh no, a very bad spot. Someone's going from behind. Eh. Quickly, I'm going to shield myself up. Seal myself for a bit. Heal myself for a bit of damage. Because the trick with this is, they can't fire at you through this. Oh my god, there's a sniper. Ah! Uh, they can shoot you with regular fire, but when it comes to explosives through the shield, they cannot hit you. I'm going to see if I can get out and stick at my teeth! Mm. Work. But you gotta love boosting sometimes. Oh, heal myself up a bit. Just quickly. I'm gonna see if I can't heal myself all the way if I can. But literally, this game is so much fun. Who would have thought first person mech combat would be done this well? With a free to play model that's actually really, really good. Because my biggest worry in the beta was that I was worried that the free to play model wasn't going to stand up, but oh man did it stand. Oh man, he out damaged me, but oh, oh, and he's, oh, are you kidding me? Damn. Yeah, but I was worried first whether the free-to-play model was going to be a bit bad. But you know what? It's not that bad at all. It's a really good play model. You get a lot of credits to play with for the smallest amount of money, which I think is fantastic. Because the trick to free to play games is that you want to give players enough to play around with, but you don't want to give them the whole cake. You want to give them a slice. I'm really in a bad position here. Oh my days, really? Sometimes you do get spawned in really bad spots where the entire enemy team is and your team is nowhere to be seen. That's where some of the spawning locations are questionable in the game, to say the least. I'll give it that part. I, I guess that's a negative. I don't think that is a big negative, however, since this is team deathmatch and it's all about getting into that position to kill people. So by all means, this could just be... This could just be uh, luck of a spawn, I guess. You could call it luck of a spawn. Here we go, let's see if I can get this guy down. Come over here, you twonk! Ugh. Come on. Got one at least. Oh no, I might die to my- Oh! Hey! -ho Lovely! Feels so good when you pull off stuff like that. Okay, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set up a shield, sit inside it, and I'm gonna repair myself. Just to feel more secure. Woo! You see, you can create some really badass plays as well with your mech. It may literally makes you feel like a fantastic ace pilot as if you're a Gundam pilot from the Gundam series, or one of the ace pilots from the Armored Core series. It generally makes you feel like a badass, and when a game makes you, the player, feel like a badass, that's when you feel extra great. 
Oh damn, I just blew myself up. Oh god, I'm in a really bad position again. Ah! No! No! Ah! <laughs> yeah, I just love immersing myself in a games like this. And it's games like this for truly, truly excel. Now I really hope this game does kick off a lot of really good players have already started to shine. Apparently there were talks of Hawken going into the actual pro circuit, so EVO or places like that. Not necessarily EVO, because EVO is very fighting game related, but you know what I mean. Like uh, I-Series in the UK, for example. We could end up seeing pro Hawken teams representing like companies like Curse will probably have one, Fnatic maybe. Pro teams like that could end up, well, playing Hawken. Which is pretty boss. Pretty boss indeed. I'm actually going to stick with my teammates now. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to gank this guy from behind. <laughs> hey. Help that guy out in front. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Bad position. Oh, he set up a blockade. Oh, Rocketeer. Or oh, Grenadier. I think that's a grenadier actually. Oh! Ah! Obviously, the heavier mechs are going to be tougher to shoot through. Which is a player's choice. You're basically sacrificing. You're sacrificing a little bit of damage and a lot of movement speed for more durability. Whilst for the lighter mechs, you're sacrificing. Mo you're sacrificing your tankiness for maybe a little bit more damage or and mostly the maneuverability part of things. Haha <laughs> Flanked Oh man! They're flanking me again Ah I hate it when people flank. But yet again it is a valid tactic here on Hawken. It is a very good tactic indeed. I think I'll play until the end of this match. Am I actually throwing the Grenadier a bit more? Let's bust some Belials! Let's go on with the Belial Buster, see if we can do anything better. I love the fact that you can also rename your mechs. So, every single mech has their default name. You can change the name around. And basically just make that mech yours. Like for example what I'm doing here with the Belial Buster. Originally simply known as the Grenadier. That's not a badass name. You want a badass name for your mechs. So of course I'm going to call it the Bilal Buster. Okay, so my team didn't do so well that time. Sad face. But you know what? You can't win everything in life. And at least I showed you guys what Hawken is all about. D did I get any of the big accolades? I don't think I did. Oh, I almost got top of the list. 1086. That's not too bad actually. Very nice. What about my earnings? You can also see what service awards you get, also known as achievements. Got Death from Above, Terminator 2, Double Kill, Thanks for Playing. Played Hawken for one hour, thank you very much. And you also... Now here's the trick as well, some achievements do actually give you... Uh, the currency to actually buy stuff, so... That's actually pretty cool, so you can play the game and generally not have to purchase a single thing if you don't want to. I purchased a couple of things because I'd like to personalize my game types quite a bit. I'm going to leave this match. And I, whoops. Yeah, I'm going to leave this match and let those guys get to it. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for checking out the Hawken preview. Be sure to subscribe for more videos coming from VGU Gaming. And also be sure to check out www.videogamesuncovered.com for all your video game related news, reviews, opinionated articles, and so much more. Also, keep in mind that very soon, Video Games Uncovered will be having a Hawken Week dedicated to Hawken, where we'll have live streams and giveaways involving some Steel Series stuff and some Hawken stuff. So be sure to keep your eyes out for that. But until next time, guys, I'm going to see you on the other side, and I'm going to get back to shooting things with my mech. Oh yeah! <laughs>